Hello again and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to talk about routing the metronome in Reaper, something that sort of hides in plain sight. As always, please like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and take a look at Reaper. By default, the metronome's in your left and right channel. When you're recording by yourself, that may be fine. Turn it on when you need it, turn it off when you don't. On the other hand, if you're tracking a band, you may have members that do not want to hear the click. In that case, you'll want to assign the metronome to a dedicated channel that you can then feed to the individual musicians via multiple monitor mixes. A prime example of this would be if you're using the Behringer X32 as your interface or else the Behringer XR18 as your interface. Even with a two-channel interface, this will allow you to put the click in the left or the right if that's something you want to do. So mouse up to the metronome icon and then right click it. This will bring up a metronome options window. Hiding in plain sight in this window is a button at the top left side. That is the routing button. Your button might look a bit different depending on what Reaper theme you're using. When you click it, it will bring up a drop down. Depending on your interface, what you see might look different. For example, a two channel interface should look something like this. Stereo would be the default setting. The first would be your left, the second would be your right output. For my portable setup, I'm using the Behringer XR18 as my audio interface. So let's take a look at that. There's an assortment of stereo and mono outputs here. In my case, I choose number 17, the stereo out 17 and out 18, because that is the Behringer XR18 stereo aux in. That way I don't have to give up one of the Behringer 16 mic pre's. Just X out of that window after you've made your choice. Since I'm using the XR18, we'll go ahead and take a look at the setup and the mixer side of things. Since I routed Reaper's click to the 17 and 18 of the Behringer, the aux in channel, we need to select that. Then we need to go to the input and make sure USB is selected at the channel source, USB. I have the six auxes in the Behringer set up as monitors, as you can see here. I can then send the click individually to any of those six monitor mixes. You can see mix one and two are getting the click here. The other four monitor sends are all potted down. The X32 would be very similar to this in setup and look. No matter what interface you're using though, the principle is going to be the same. It really is that simple. The routing button is right there hiding in plain sight. Hopefully this quick tip managed to save you some frustration. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.